All right, right now we're at 37 degrees here, just a little bit of light rain falling from the skies, but everything is going to be changing as our Thanksgiving holiday wears on. Dew points are at 36, but looks like by around noontime, just around the time the turkeys are starting to really get cooking, come out of the oven, boy, it's going to be a whole different situation. Winds now from the north at about 14 miles an hour, putting a wind chill out there back in the upper 20s. These are all air temperatures, middle 30s around Carroll and Denison, 37 degrees Omaha Plattsmith, 38. South of that down through Nebraska City, but back to the north and the west, we've already dropped right around the freezing marker just below between Wayne and York, and you're going to see what a difference just a few degrees makes here in a second. Here's the wind flow coming out of the north at 14 miles an hour. It makes 37 feel more like 28 degrees with this early morning wind chill, and look at the wind chill values up in Wayne, Norfolk, and Columbus, upper teens and lower 20s. All right, here's the radar situation. It's all coming down. It's just some very light rain tracking through the Metro back up through Tacoma, Fremont and Lincoln. But again, where those temperatures are around 31, 32 degrees, it's already changing over. This is more of a freezing rain slash kind of a sleet event through Norfolk and Columbus down through Grand Island. And it's already starting to change over actually to snow right around downtown Norfolk. And it's actually going to be more of a snow event for these folks just to our north and west. Norfolk could see between two and four inches of snow before this Thanksgiving holiday is over for us here. Boy, it's just the whole winter potpourri gambit coming at us right here in a nutshell. That's why we're officially under a winter storm warning between 9 o'clock this morning and 9 o'clock tonight. Right here, this is what it kind of looks like. It's all cloudy right now. We're socked in with the clouds. It looks like right through the entire day. The timeline is this. 8 o'clock this morning for the metro. Areas of rain and some light fog. Right now, visibility is pretty decent. By noontime, it's already switched over to basically a freezing rain, potentially mixing with sleet and some snow. But mid to late morning, it's pretty much freezing rain, eventually transitioning sleet and snow. By mid-afternoon, it's all sleet and snow, and then by around 6 o'clock, it comes down as light snow, pretty much done by 9 o'clock tonight. So as far as the weather impact and the headlines, ice to snow and also wind, we can't rule that out. Winds 10, 20, gusting 25. It's going to lead to some slippery roads, especially bridges and overpasses. And because of potentially a quarter inch of ice and the wind, those factors could lead to some power outages. And we hope that doesn't happen. We'll be watching the OPPD boards all day long as well. And because of all of that, Threat Tracker obviously in the high zone for today with that winter weather mix and mess headed in our direction. Right now we're calling for temperatures to drop throughout the day. 30 by the afternoon, rain, then freezing rain, then a wintry mix and then snow. That's how it all kind of tracks out as the day goes on. Tonight, light snow ends by about 9, 10 o'clock. No accumulations past that, but we could be picking up an inch to two inches of kind of a slushy mess towards the late evening hours. So that ends late. Winds out of the north 10 to 20, gusting to 25. And then coming up for tomorrow, it's a much better day for the Husker game. Cloudy in the morning, cold for the afternoon with some increasing sunshine, 33 degrees. Lows Friday night down to 19. Out on Sunday, Chance of a little bit of light snow, 36 degrees, a little more light snow on Monday at this point. Doesn't look to be a big deal. Cloudy on Tuesday, cool on Wednesday.